Hey guys, welcome to another Hearthstone video. Today we are doing the last wing of Karazhan. And yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to open this one pack just because I have it with me. And then we're going to finish the wing. So let's see, can we get a legendary just randomly? Please. Alright, an epic. I can uh, dust that epic, so that's okay with me. Nice. So, let's head over to the wing. We'll go ahead and buy it. And guys, this is the last wing of Karazhan, which is kind of sad, but also kind of exciting because it has one of the best cards. The purchase is complete, which is nice. It took forever. Let's go ahead and open the spire. At last, the top of the tower. Find the right portal and bring back Medivh. Got it. All right, let's go ahead and see what he does. In the master's chambers. Keep out. I think I'm going to have to make a new deck for this one. I'm going to have to make a mage deck. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to make a mage deck. All right, let's go ahead and do this with the mage deck that I just made. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. It should be an easy fight. Uh, what I did was, guys, so his power is that everybody has plus three spell power. So what I did is I just took a bunch, I just made a mage deck with a lot of spells. So, obviously, do a lot of damage. And then whatever things I had open that weren't with spells, I did things like the Sorcerer's Apprentice, Fallen Hero, Man of Worm. But yeah, this should be an easy fight, technically. So we'll go ahead and play the Mana Worm. We got a very good hand. <clears throat> we got a really good tempo hand. We got one, two, three, and they're both good minions. Don't hit all three? Alright. Oh no, there's... I forgot there's six. I forgot about that. Oh well. Let's play the Fallen here so we can get some damage in. I'm not some simple jester. I am Nila Saron. Well, you're gonna... You're gonna get defeated like a simple jester, at least. Feels bad. Alright, let's see what we can do. Your turn to fall. Burn, you Alright, it's good, because if I would have had a full board right there, I would have been really sad. But I only had that one, so that's pretty good, actually. That's really good. And once again, he used one of his good spells just to take care of one minion, so that's fine with me. Let's go ahead and play the Water Elemental. I'm going to save the two Sorcerer's Apprentices when I can burst some spells. Alright, that's nine damage. That's not going towards my face, so that's pretty nice. What can we do? Uh, what do we do? What do we do? I guess we can just transform into a sheep and get rid of it. I'm going to try to finish off this game quickly, so. Excuse me, you are on fire. Excuse me, you are on fire. It's a good thing he's not controlling a minion cuz that would have been a lot of damage. Now that's a lot of damage. I think what we'll do, we'll just clear the board and then use a fireball to his face. And I need to kind of rush him down a bit. <clears throat> nice. That's a good card right there. Alright, that'll be... And that'll be enough to kill him. I just need one more high damage card. Okay, that's not it, but it's okay. We have a couple more turns. Alright, he's going to do 12 damage to that. That's fine. And that is another Firelands portal. That is a W, guys. Easy, easy, easy. Easy. Alright, let's go ahead and go to the second boss. 
We'll need his control device. Which deck? Let's let's use this one. Let's see how this fight goes. Uther versus Never Fight. All right, so let's go ahead Who and fight. My research. I will fight with honor. I will fight with honor. Hmm. What do we keep? I think I'm just gonna keep the knife juggler. That's it. By the way, guys, uh, I haven't explained this fight yet. This fight is very, very interesting. So, guys, you guys see those two portals and how they have a line? Anything put on the right has taunt. Anything put on the left has um, wind fury, which is you can attack twice. So, anytime there's not a minion in the way, it will give him either taunt or uh, wind fury. So what I'm doing here is I want to block off both ends of the portal so they go into my minions and not him. Because you can see my Leprenome could hit twice because he was on that side. So literally I think the way to win this really is just to make sure he never has either of those on him. Especially the Wind Fury because imagine he has 3 attack plus Wind Fury. That's bad. That, that is very bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place another thing on the Wind Fury because... Because I have this Blessing of Kings. Once I put that on somebody on the Wind Fury side, it will do lots of damage. So. Just tell us which one has Medivh. Once again, he has three attack, but he won't be able to do much, so it's okay. So now we will be able to put the Blessing of Kings, but I might not do that yet. I might put a Knight here because why not? Plus, I'll be able to use my hero power and get more, so. Oh, guys. My bad, my bad. On on the right, it's not taunt. It's You can only take one damage at a time. That is my bad. That is, I misspoke. It's just one damage at a time, not taunt. So, yeah. Um, meaning, if, he, if that ha ray is on him, I can only do one damage at a time, which is no fun. So, I gotta keep that off. And of course, I gotta keep the Wind Fury off. Let's place another Murloc. This is my responsibility. Oh, that party sounds fun. Go join it and leave my portals alone. Now I'm good. We need those portals. Guests are tossing tomes into the mana pool. <laughs> solid still isn't doing much and actually i think that's that's a win actually yeah that's a win nice easy 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 just enough damage to win this game well how this functions Alright, we got one more fight, which is Medivh himself. Done it. Open the portal and let's get this party started. Let's go ahead and use the same paladin deck that we used for this one. And see what we can do. And again, this fight's gonna be very interesting. This is my first time fighting it, so I don't even know what's gonna happen, but it should be very interesting. This is it. will rule this puny world oops wrong portal fight the orc so i can try again so it looks like we're just gonna keep fighting enemies until he finds the right portal so that's exciting Power before the horde. i will fight with honor all right we are not gonna cower before the horde and we are gonna beat the horde yeah Alright, so we got some low-cost cards in the beginning, which is nice. She only has 15 health, so that's pretty good. Bitch. 
is she gonna do? Alright, injured Blade Master, fine. Hmm. I think we'll just give this. If he please please hit the Blade Master. Bang. Perfect. Ten out of ten. I'll take that. I will take that. Alright, a bash. It's fine. Force the orc back so we may open another portal. You know what? Yeah, I think we're gonna do this. And just get some quick damage onto him. And then we beat him. We have Ragnaros the Fire Lord, so we'll be able to get another charge on that weapon. See, I think the main thing is I just need to do. I need to charge quickly, get rid of him, him, her, whatever, work. And I think we're gonna play Pit Fighter now. And once again, I'm just gonna do a lot of damage very quickly and try to rush it. I think that's the way we're gonna beat him. Summon a random Horde Warrior. See, that's not even a problem, kind of, sort of, not really. Actually, no, it's not a problem at all. For justice. We'll go ahead and take those five recruits. It's actually pretty good so far. That is pretty good. Huh. So many portals. I wonder what is in this one. Oh, that's the tentacle world. We definitely don't want. No, no, no! I don't want to go to the tentacle world. I'm good. I'm good, fam. I'm good. All right, so there we go. Nazra's done. Nazra is done. I oh, will see what else we get. Excellent. Now let's see if this one works. Oh, there he is. Alrighty. Ah, uh, guest. Please take care of the demon, would you? I have a party to host. Here, borrow my staff. It controls the portals. Just don't scratch it. Alrighty. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and take care of him right now. I guess we'll summon the five recruits and go ahead and place the Acolyte of Pain. Alright, and we already got a board full, so that's nice. Alright, so he has a very strong hero power, which is bad for us. But he already almost emptied his hand already, so this is also a good thing for us. So yeah, since he has like no cards left, let's go ahead and try to clear his board a bit. Try to clear his board. And then... With the 610, we'll try to clear a couple of his abyssals. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and try to... So we're just... Uh, really, our main fight here is we just have to keep up with his cards. Or with his hero power, we're gonna have to keep up with that. We're gonna have to get some good draws. Good draw from this. From this. Truth is my shield. What do we do? Not on my watch. I think we're going to end up doing this. Because I think this is the play that will most prolong my life and help me actually kill him. 
Let's go ahead and take care of some of his minions. That's gonna be the most important thing. But yeah, guys, if I didn't have that taunt right there, I'd be dead right now. And I really need to take care of some of these abyssals now. Oh, that's such a good card for taking care of abyssals. Oh, wow. That is really good. I just gotta figure out the right pattern, make sure I do this right. That's really good. That gives me health, so that's nice. That gives me two health back, so that's nice. I guess we're gonna have to sacrifice that, but that's good. Now I'm just gonna I'm gonna need a lot of okay. I'm gonna have to find a way to take care of these abyssals, so I need another really good card right now. Alright, that's okay. I need something big. Hmm. Tough choice. It's either Do Do Doomsayer or Psychotron. Don't know which one. Psychotron will help me with the things from not dying. The other one would have done more damage, but it would have got taken up by the missiles anyway, so... Now I'm gonna play this, just so anything I play will kind of get a buff. But yeah, I need to start rushing his face now. I need to start going now. Because he's gonna outrun me with these abyssals if I don't do something quick. He's gonna outrun me. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and rush his face. So yeah, we should be getting pretty close here to winning. If he does something crazy, though, we're screwed. That's kind of bad for us. It's kind of bad. At least one of his abyssals will be taken out already. So we're doing, we're keeping on track getting rid of his abyssals. Alright, I think that is a win, actually. Yeah, that is 100% a win. We'll just take care of that, and that is a win, guys. Yes. First try, and we get that W. First try, and we get that W. Nice. 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 Alright, chill out, man. I just defeated, like, what? Five towers worth of monsters? You want me to party, homie? Chill. Alright, give me that prize right quick. Give me that prize. Honestly, that, th this is what I'm looking for. Prince Malhazar or whatever. That's what I needed. Alright, guys. So that is it done, actually. You did it. I can't believe the party started on time. Could you come back next week? It's Medivh's birthday, and uh, I need backup. Okay, guys, so I think this is going to be it for this episode. Next episode, we will finish all the class challenges. All of them. And, yeah, so we got one more episode of the Karazhan left. Technically, one more. And then we'll get back to normal Hearthstone. But, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and comment and support the channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.